have some Watch out, big Teflon dog. sheets for heat presses. We have sublimation, sublimation paper. Sublimination. 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 We have. You are a chicken. Um, ink. Oh my god! This is what's going to void your warranty. Oh my god! So again, we must disclaim that if you do this to this printer or any Eco Tank printer, if you convert it to a dye sublimation printer, you will void the warranty immediately, and they will know because they can check. They know that it's not the right ink. It's not the recommended ink. It's not the official Epson ink. We are actually going to replace the ink. There's a couple of things you need to know. Number one, if you buy one of these things, don't plug it in. Is that right? That's what I understand. You shouldn't plug it in before you fill the Do ink. Do not plug. Now, this time. is an older model. This is the 2720, but I understand it works with the 4760 and the 15,000, yeah, yeah. pretty much all yep. the eco tanks. Yep. That's what I understand. Again, right. you are on your own. If you do this, <laughs> you, do you are this, on your own. If warranty's not, over. Do not call Game me. over. Don't call. Don't call Felicia. Don't call Felicia. Don't call she Epson. Me. Don't call your mama. Call Fresh. Don't call me. It's really a light printer. So you don't want to plug it in, right? Right. Because when you plug it in, it does something to activate the... The something. The ink or something, because they're going to get you. They know that, they, I mean, they make a lot of money on these consumables, which is understandable because they've invested a lot of money in this technology, so it's completely fair. And I have to tell you, in terms of the technology, as far as an inkjet printer goes, this is great. It's going to save you a ton of money. If you use it as an inkjet printer with the ink that comes with it, it's really smart because you don't have to buy cartridges anymore. You're going to save a whole bunch of money on consumables <laughs> in the long run. All right, Felicia, we're taking the blue tape off. No, we have never done this we have before. Never, why do we do this to ourselves? Because it's fun. Why do we do because this? Because people like to watch us make mistakes, so they don't have to make the same mistakes. Well, that's mistakes. true. Right? It's fun. Are you going to buy me a new one if I mess it up? Yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. This is a nice unit, too. It's a scanner, and it's like an all-in-one. You can make copies with this. I don't know what that is. This is your um, tray for your paper, I'm assuming. But right now, it's still under warranty, Felicia. It's not too late to change your mind. It's not too mind. late. Here's the power cord. We're just oh going to set that aside. Oh, my. Oh, my, my God. There you go. Oh, my God. And then this is the ink that comes with it, the black, the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow. But we're just going to throw hey, it out. Hey, if anybody wants that. Yeah, if you have. <laughs> we can give that send to Send us you. a message. Send us an email. First email we get, you get the ink for free. I will mail that to you. I'll pay for shipping, too. So this is... First um, email says, I want this ink. This is Printer's Jack um, Sublimation Ink. Did you get that in, on Amazon? In yellow. I did. Okay, good. Yellow and blue. Come Cyan, down here a little closer so magenta, everybody can see what you're doing. Black. Oh, wait. There's more in this box. Oh. There's little... Um, Syringes. Syringes. Oh, nice. And, oh, wait. But wait. There's more in here. Oh, my God. So they come with four syringes, one for each color, and it comes with these little needle tips. Oh, there are you needles put, in there? You put, it's not really a needle. Oh, my God. It's looks like a sharp. sewing needle. It is a needle. It's, it's like a, a sharp thing. We need a sharp actually, thing for it this? Is sharp. So we're going to put this <laughs> in the tips of here, pull this out, and this is how we're going to load the ink into the um, machine. Okay. All right, so let's see. I'm going to pull these out. What are you doing? I don't know. I know how you open this thing. There you go. Oh, there it is. All right, let me can bring the camera over that? here so people at home can see as we completely destroy the warranty and kill this machine so it can never print like a normal printer again. Here's the thing. It is reversible. You can't go backwards. Once you do this, it does something to the ink heads, and you cannot ever use regular ink in this thing again. Here. Syringes are needed oh to refill God. certain models. Oh my god. Such as this machine. Okay. Oh so this machine god. does it, the instructions does do <laughs> the instructions say that you do need to um, use the syringes to fill this machine. Our sublimation ink works with across a high percent of polyester, works on poly. Blah, 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 blah. Colors on the printed sublimation will appear duller than the actual final outcome. Okay. So we don't need special shirts for this? Um if it's a polyester shirt, hundred percent polyester will work fine. I do have a sublimation shirt. I did find one, by the it way. This works poorly on cotton bits. Yes. So high in percentage of polyester and liner fiber. Right. 
And it also works on mugs, cups, plates, cloth, mouse pads, pillows, glass, metal, flags, and shoes. Shoes. Um, could you right. do me a favor? Uh -huh. I want to put this down on the counter. Why? So, just to protect it. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, and my God. Just put it over here so it's more. People at Epson are watching this right now. <laughs> you take a note of this. You got the serial number. Okay. All right. Warranty voided. So we have our inks. We have our little syringes ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I think. Mm -hmm. This has never been done on Amazon Live before. Not that gentlemen. we know of. This is the first. This is, I believe, gloves. Gloves. So we don't make a mess. That's why I want to put the plastic down just Is this not toxic? Well. Let me move this out of the way. I'm guessing too. it doesn't. Our little oh. folder. I love our shirt folder. Do you want to do this or do you want me to do this? No, you do it. I'm scared. Okay. Wait a minute. Before I put those gloves on, let's. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Let's cut these open. Wait, what are you doing? I'm just going to cut these open. Wait, people need to see everything. The plastic. People at Epson, they want to add this to their uh, their documentation. Don't do this. Don't try this at home. All right, so there's the black. Just remember, don't plug it in. Don't put the regular ink in if you want to do this. If you want if to you convert want it to a dye sublimation printer, you don't want to put the original ink in. You don't want to plug it in. Otherwise, it's a great printer. It it's is a great, great printer. It's a great ink and you're mm -hmm. ruining it. How does that make you feel? I'm excited. Mm-hmm. We've this never is, done this. We have no idea what we're doing. The yeah. only sublimation work we've done is with the Cricut infusible ink. So this is new for you. This is different. This is exciting. So I think over here, it's got the colors marked oh my for God. you. I believe these pop up. Oh, my God. And I believe you just inject the ink into these little slots. So here we go. Margaret says, can you show me how to use it, the sublimation? Yeah, we're going to do this. Lisa says, you two are fun to watch. Margaret says, great info. <laughs> Thank Felicia's you. Felicia's fun to watch. No, I don't know about that. Oh, God. She's putting the gloves on. She's going in. Epson's right. like, so I popped note the time. <laughs> Warranty so voided. opened black. So I have my black. And it's got these little um, clear plastic covers. And it'll show you. It's got I'm marks to show you how full it is. So people can see what's So going we're going to grab here. one of our doohickeys, our syringes. <laughs> My technical term for the day, apparently. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to just open this up. What are you doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. What I'm are nervous. you even doing? Oh, it's got a little oily cap on it. This is where I make a mess. You want me to do it? You got it? You got it. Oh, my God. You even put the gloves on. <laughs> you just got real. These are serious now. It's got a little plastic. Simpsons thing. like one fifty seven Eastern Time warranty officially voided. Um, it's got um, a plastic thing there. I can't get it off. I'm you going do it to with, take um, care scissors? of that. Or my. Um, I'm going to try to take it off it with it my fingers, or I could just do it with my yeah. finger like this. Oh no! Don't stand back. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh I'm dub sl dye sublimated. Ooh, it smells funny. This isn't poison right. or anything. Is it toxic? I don't know. Is my finger going to fall off? I don't know. Oh, I got so it we're under just my nail. Take this syringe with this needle on the end and put it in the, the top. And we're going to slowly pull up. Oh no, we're God. not. You guys see this? No, we're not. I'm going to wash this off just in case. Okay, I'm going to just unscrew the top. <laughs> if this tips over, I'm going to be sad. Oh, oh my God. Good. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm just pulling up on the syringe, and it's filling up. It washes off. All right, I'm going to push it back down, see if I can get it, get more in there. When this works, would you mind doing a mug with a Cricut mug press, pretty please? Hmm. Fresh, can you come over here, please? Yes, you I think to, we can do that. You need to hold the bottle because I don't want it to tip over. Oh, that would stink. All right, so we have it filled. We're just going to come over to the black. I guess. I hope this is right. I'm slightly nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll just reverse the color. I don't feel anything going, I mean, I don't feel that you can go any lower than this. Yeah. Um, Wait, it's filling up, can I see that? Is it filling up? Wait, I can't tell, no, I can't, as a shadow. I'm gonna put this on the top. Is it happening? Is something happening right now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared to death, by the way. Don't be scared, it's fun. 
All right, it is filling. It is filling. Look, Something's can happening. Can you see it? Down can here? you see it down here? Can you guys see that at home? This is the most exciting thing Felicia's ever done in her life. Wait, give me my black back. I got to do this a whole bunch oh, of times. You need more? A whole bunch of times. Oh, I was trying to like cut no, no. the, uh, no, the no, 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 no. I need the, the whole thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Technical terminology today. Nah. Okay, hold that. I'm holding. Please. Yes, my lord. Look at that. So I'm just putting that that, um, of a that needle tip in and pulling up and sucking the ink out of here. Mm -hmm. And then taking the needle over, mm -hmm. putting it in the little slot, mm -hmm. and simply pressing down. And that's what you see. Wait, let's come off and show people at home. Filling up. It is filling up. Well, I'll be darned. I don't know how many of these we'll want to do for each one. Does it tell you to fill it up, fill it up? I don't know. You've got the directions. I don't know. I'm just winging it here. I'm just here I'm for, just... The, for the French fries. Let's see. Do not finger press the sublimation. <laughs> what? Do not finger press the sublimation paper after it is printed. Do not finger press it. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Use a digital thermometer to huh? measure the actual heat press temperature. Blah, 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 Look blah, at blah. that filling up. That is so cool. Let's go higher transfer rate, blah, 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 blah. All right, so All right. we'll just so, stop there. Uh, we'll cap, put our cap uh, on the black. Okay, it doesn't really say anything here. And we'll cap that. Syringes are needed. Okay, cool. Can you have one of those paper towels right there, please? I can. I've got black all over this set, so I'll see if I can wipe it before I get to the next one. All over what? The gloves. Oh, okay. Okay. The gloves are four. Okay. I've got permanently black nails now. All right. Can Pretty you cool. open this one? I can. And then this one and this one? Oh, my God. All right, so I'll go ahead and close the blue cap for black, and I'll pop... Uh, which one you got? I'm going to do red. red. Magenta. I'll pop that open. I'll grab my next syringe. I'd rather be dead than have red on my head. You ever heard that? No. That's so rude, isn't it? Redheads are awesome. I wanted to be a redhead when I was growing up. You had a close friend, redhead. No, I don't. I do? No, I don't. We're not friends anymore. Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, those? I gotta hold this. Yes, thank you. My anti friend, my nemesis. But growing up, I did have a lot of redhead friends. Philadelphia was a big redhead city. Is that where you're from? No. <laughs> Can't, cannot confirm nor deny, not deny any information. Yeah, I'm originally from Philadelphia. Where are you originally from? Florida. Where were you born? Hollywood. You're a Hollywood girl? Yep. Oh my God, what street? Uh, gosh, 72nd. 72nd. But I wasn't there very long. You weren't? What happened? Yes, father's, father's in the military. Oh, military brat. Yeah, I'm a, I see. I'm a military brat. He's an army. Oh. Is he watching today? I don't know. I'm going to come around this side because you're obscuring everyone's view. I'm sorry. We're going to do the same. People need to see this. We'll do the three just this like we did on the This is history right here. This is Felicia this is trashing a printer. Do you want me to hold it again? Yeah. <laughs> if this thing spills all over the floor. What's going to happen? It's going to be a You're bad You're going to be dye sublimated day. floor? You're going to apply heat to it? It's gonna what happens if you spill this stuff? Is it water solid? I don't know the answer to that. It washed off my finger. It didn't really say that anywhere. All right, can you see it filling up fresh? Oh, that stuff's oh my gosh, look at that. That is so cool. Can you guys see that at home? It's got black and... Um, and I think they can see that. Can you see that? I'm looking on my screen here. You can just about see it. All right, freshman, do the I next one. I can't get any closer than that. What? Do the next one. All right, I'm going to close the red. Close. Do you have to fill these up all the way, or it doesn't matter? Um, I'm, I'm not going to because I, I think it will take too much time. I guess you don't because... I mean, you're going to wear it down as you use it. And what do you soon. do with the syringes? Do you, I'm going to hang on to them. Do you wash Actually, them I'm out? Gonna, I'm going to fill them up later all the way. But it's, um, Are you going to fill up the syringes? I'm going to fill up the tank completely later. Oh, I see. All right, so grab the next one. All right, yellow. Uh-oh, you need my towel? No, I'm good. Don't stab. 
What's what you're I doing? I will inject. I will die, Sibimate. You, you will turn green. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to know that this is what life is like with him every this single day. This is scary. Day. And these are like legit big needles that they take blood out of you with. They're pretty big. These are like real. I don't know, Fresh, if they can see this filling up at home or not. I don't think so. Um, I think it's so yeah, cool, they can though. see. They can kind of see it. Hold it again. Yep. I'm afraid you're gonna jab me. Come on, man. These are like we need a sharps box. I, you know what I feel like? I feel like if I pull apart on this syringe, it's gonna come flying out. Come fly. <laughs> That'll be bad. <laughs> no bueno. Now where are you sticking it in? Hold on. Before you do that, let me come close so people can see what you're doing here. So you're putting them in. Can you see? There's like a little hole here. Yeah. And, and I assume that the uh, original ink fits perfectly squarely I'm onto that. I assume that too. So you're going straight down that little hole here. And, and you can see it filling up. We'll do one more. One more yellow. Filling up here. I'm not holding the bottle here. Okay. 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 So you can see the yellow starting to fill up here. So if you got some red, we got some black. We're going to do the cyan, the blue next. All right. All right. You're good. You're just shoving that in there. How far down does it go? You're not kind very of pushing far. it down. Nope, not very far. All right. So you see it filling back up? on the tripod now. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Those of you at home, we are converting this printer, this regular old inkjet printer, into a dye sublimation printer, which will enable us to print on t shirts, on bags, and hopefully, if it works out, we're going to make a mug. Thanks, Lisa. Yes, we're using printer's jack. We're going to try to actually put this on a mug today. We're going to do a mug today? I don't yeah, even who know. Who asked what, for a mug? I honestly don't even know what we're doing with Somebody this. Somebody just asked for a mug in the we're chat. We're just so excited for this. Ryan. He said, will you please oh, use here. the mug press? He said, will you use the it? mug press? Yeah, hang on. We can, we can do something with the mug press. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a mug. Do we Why? have to use a cricket mug? Uh, that's all I have. Be honest. Okay. Well, the Cricut Mod has a dye sublimation coating on it, right? right. We it's, don't know if we need that with that with this ink. Well, when I was doing some research, although I didn't buy anything, um, there's a whole slew of um, oh, there's a whole slew of uh, dye uh, sub sublimation blanks mm -hmm. of different things. Um, I just haven't bought anything yet. Okay. Uh, I should have. I wasn't really. I was just excited. To Let's try this it. thing Let's has been it. sitting on our counter for a week. Let's try it. And we've the... been waiting for you guys. To... I know you were going to do a test. Run I was going to do a happened. test and we didn't do it. So you guys are literally here with us live. <laughs> doing an experiment. We're doing an experiment. Hopefully it'll work. All right. We're going to do three of this one too. And, and we've been then... told don't plug it in until this procedure is done. So right. you actually have That's ink loaded in here. That's what it said. That's what somebody said. I don't know why it doesn't make sense, but all right, one more. So we've got three syringefuls of each color going in. We fill them up all the way, but that's just—it's going to take too much time. I don't, don't want to. Yeah. You guys have things to do. All right, so that's it. Is that three? Let me cover this up. That's three, Bob. Do you print onto transfer paper and then just apply with a heat press? I think that is how this works. We're going to print on sublimation paper. Mm -hmm. and um, Which we have here. Yep. And we're going to we're gonna give it a whirl. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to give it a whirl. I don't even know what sublimation paper is, but that is what we have okay. here. So we bought this on Amazon, too. I think all this stuff's in the carousel. Yeah, it is. Sorry, not All right, what happens tagging. now? I... I think we plug her in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. This is it. So we've already voided the warranty. So if this thing doesn't work, it's trash, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's going to the recycling, the electronics recycling graveyard. Well, somebody will pick it apart and uh, God knows what they do over there. Remove so all this sub uh, ink I do away. Have a, I do have a, uh, a shirt that we mm -hmm. could use. And I can get a mug. Okay. Where does this plug in? And I don't know what the rules are with this thing. Once you fill an eco tank with uh, ink, even if it's the real ink, can you move these things around? What happens if it splashes up onto the tank? 
I don't know much about these things. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it is great technology. You know what's neat about this? Well, this is what you do. You basically scan or copy something in color, right? So you print something out, whatever you want to do, or can you send something, a design to this thing, just like a regular old inkjet printer? Don't know. <laughs> okay. We'll try copying something. I'm at a total loss. I'm, All right, I'm going to plug it in. Are you sure? We're good? I guess. All right, it is now plugged in. I don't know what that you does. You smell smoke? Now we turn it on. We need something to copy. So it's going to print in color on this special paper, so, whatever we send to it. So what if we, what if we send to it something from Cricut Design Space to print and cut so that it's the exact right size to put on the shirt or whatever we're printing. Let's do the shirt first. Print and cut. Yes, we're going to print and cut something. All right, I'm you lost want, here. You want a Fresh and Felicia shirt? In color? Yes. Yeah. See the start here, bundle, whatever, when filling, okay, make sure. Fill the tank with ink and hold this down for more than five seconds. I did that already. Confirm. Oh, start. Initializing. Oops. Oh, God. I didn't like the oops sound, bro. It's initializing. Do not turn the power off until initialization is complete, Felicia. How long does that take? About 10 minutes. Seriously? 10 minutes? Are you serious? I got 10 minutes. Do, 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 do. Can you dance or something for us? Can we do something fun? Can you sing? I think you should. No, I think you should. All right, so we're going to let this go through its little thing. You're going to find a little design on your computer that you're going to send to this printer, which has not been connected to Wi-Fi yet. How do you connect it to Wi-Fi? I guess it has to do the ink first. What did you do? What should I, can I share that screen? I don't know. I'm just, I just made something. I don't know if you like it. Let me see if I can share that screen. This Let's is for see. you, I guess, or whoever. This is what you did in Design Space. Can mm -hmm. you print from Design Space? Yeah, you can print and cut. Wow. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this whole thing. Cool. Can you okay. see it? Yeah. Um, mm. uh, we're going to flatten it. <laughs> Margaret said, oops. So yeah, now, I think, Mark, I think all you do is print on that paper and just apply when, with a heat press. Yeah, when I, hit, when I hit um, I hit mm. the flatten button in the bottom right corner, when mm -hmm. I did, it's over the, the layer now says uh, print, then cut. So this thing is ready to go. It's ready to go? It's ready it's to ready go. It's ready to rock and roll? But nice. we need the printer hooked up to this laptop. Oh, it's smooth. Smooth on Can one you all side. feel kind that? Kind of a matte finish on one side and then the uh, a sub on the back. Oh, look, on the, mm, the, look on the back of the box. All right, what am I And looking? there's some instructions on the back of the box, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> you know reading? Sublimation ink only. Inkjet printer only. Only for light colored substrate and hard to get coated. What? Only for light colored substrate and hard substrates must be coated. What does that mean? I don't know. Professional heat press <laughs> recommend home <laughs> iron is not suitable. Please use mirror printing. Oh, please a mirror. Oh, oh, I'm on it. And print on the blank side. Oh, wait. <laughs> don't, just... don't print on this side. What happened okay. to the maker? I don't know. Where did you put it? Oh, it's on my desk. Okay. And better to finish it when it's to be a bit, blah, 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 blah. 400 degrees, it's saying. Okay, we can do 400. We Metal got that. plates, fiberglass, hardware, mouse ports, textile, glass, ceramic mugs, it's saying 400 degrees Fahrenheit, three plus one minute contain preheat time. Pressure is heavy, so ceramic mug is going to work great. <laughs> Textile applications, 25 to 40 seconds, medium pressure. Okay, we got that. Okay. There. Got that, good. Um, what are you doing with the maker? Print and cut. You can't print and cut. Look, we're gonna print there. I and scanned the and cut with the brother. No, we're gonna print and cut. I'm telling you, this is gonna be Are cool. you sure? Nope, but oh it's gonna be great. Oh my God, oh my God. I've only, I've only oh. print and cut like one time ever. Oh my God. Right, Emma? So. What do you think about this whole procedure? I don't know, man. You got any food? <laughs> All right. Now, speaking of scan and cut, I'm going to see if I can pull my decal off here. <gasps> I pulled her foot off. Oh, my God. Felicia, I just pulled her foot off. Keep those on I just there. just pulled her head off. Dude. I just... Now what's it doing? 
I don't know. It still works about halfway oh, it's still, done. Oh, right, it's that got didn't work. that much more time? I was going to show you something cool, but I don't think this is going to work today. All right. Maybe next time. That's kind of cool looking. Though. Wish it worked. All right. So we're using this Epson. This is the 27... 20? 2720. I don't think they make this anymore. I think this has well, been put out the past. As our experiment, we wanted to go with the lower one just in case we completely. <laughs> but I understand it. it works with all the other ones. It as does, well. yeah. Yep. Okay. Same process. Okay. Same with this with the same, syringes? Yeah, same with the syringes. The syringes um, work on all these um, Epsons. Okay. The eco tanks. Hey, do you guys watching? Do you guys have dogs? Does your dog take his food out of his bowl and put it on the floor and then eat it? Or is our dog just incredibly weird? Don't pick on Emma. Emma, why do you do that? It tastes better on the floor, she said. She says, why do you do some of the things you do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's almost done. I was trying um, to fill for time here. Magical things are about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's worth the wait. We still have that $25 gift card we're going to give away. I didn't forget about that. I don't know how we're going to give it away yet. We're buried. It. Yeah, some dogs just bury their food. That's true. Why would you do that? You save it for later? Your dog's probably like, why do you put it in the refrigerator, dude? <laughs> Humans are stupid. <laughs> All right, so we've changed the ink. And now it's going through some kind of thing. You can read it. What does it say? Initializing. Do not turn the power off until initialization is complete. This takes about 10 minutes. It seems like it's been an hour already. So when you're done with this, you can actually send stuff through the printer or you can copy stuff. So whatever you copy on top will come out on this paper in the colors you need, you want, you want to do. So we're going to wait for this thing to go through the whole thing and hopefully it's going to work. Felicia's going to send this design from Cricut Design Space to the printer. And then she's going to cut it. It's almost done, Felicia. Felicia, this is it. This is the moment of truth. I'm excited. We have never done this before. What if it comes up with a message saying, ha ha, you voided the warranty. Please throw it, take it to a proper recycling center. You idiot. Why did you do this? Why did you mess with me? Initialization complete. <gasps> Felicia, what do I do? I don't know. What do we do? Felicia? Does it mean it's ready? It's okay. This is where it blows up. <gasps> adjust the print head. No, we're going to adjust later. We don't care about adjusting. Done. You can kind of done. Okay, done. <gasps> so now what? I don't know. Is it install on your computer? I don't know. I have tech right, people. Let me take for a look that. here. Let me I don't see know if what the printer so is in self installed. So I go to printers and scanners. This is your Windows 10 machine. Epson 2720 driver is unavailable. Oh, come on, bro. Manage. All right. So it says printer driver is unavailable. Can you do the uh, driver for the 2760? Uh, uh, All right, now the print driver will be installed, Felicia. Please wait. Are you waiting? I'm waiting. All right, we have the Epson printer. It's standing there on standby, on camera. Setup is complete. Something just happened. I'm gonna go back over here to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go back to your printers. Wait. Oh, oh okay. Oh God, okay. No, happened? you want, yep. Oh my God, what did I just do here? Printer, is this Windows 11? What did you do? It says driver is unavailable. I didn't do anything. Remove device. It's lying. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. When all else fails, unplug it and plug it back in. Something's happening. Now normally you just set this up with a Wi-Fi. You don't really need a cable here. We're just trying to expedite things. This thing here, you have to open this. It was like set to this. I don't know who would ever print like that. I guess that's set for envelopes. You got to kind of put that there and then it just kind of chubs in like that. I'm going to turn it back on. I don't even know. I'm just going to let you So this. FYI, there's that little thing in the back. I haven't used an inkjet printer in years. All right, so it's on. What is it saying on your computer over you here? It says printing. Hold on. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh, God. For real? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Oh. Oh, that looks terrible. That does look terrible. <laughs> the heck? What is that there? We need to run a like a the, the red looks good. The black looks good. The blue bad. and the yellow, but the black. Right, what was the last thing it printed? So it kind of fixed it. Send it through again on another piece of paper. It's in there. Go ahead and send it. Just print it again. Let's see if it fixed itself. Again, this is not the official Epson ink, so it could be a little wonky. It could be the ink, too. Or it could be resisting. Or maybe you can't use black. Or maybe I need to put more in there. So the last thing it printed was the bottom, and it looks like it fixed itself on it. So the okay, next so one should be good. Yeah, let's try again. I'm turn bleed off, right? Yeah, I guess. All right. I don't know. This was attempt number one. Okay. Things pretty fast for an ink. It is very fast. Yeah. Yeah, we've gone laser. We really never went back. Nope. Yeah, it's printing the bottom pretty well. But all right, well, let's try it and see what it does. As is, you can see that. Um, the black is kind of, the other colors are great. The blue looks good, the red, the yellow, but the black is a little freaky. And I have an old shirt, just a regular. Now you can dye sub it's just a print regular... to a regular cotton shirt, but it'll wash out probably. This your first. is. I'll put the border around it again. That's okay. We'll cut the border. We'll cut it out. But you can this see is... that the blue and the red, it looks really, really pale right here, but. When you apply heat to this, theoretically, it should pop. Here, let me have that, and I'll cut that with the uh, thing right. in my lab again. So. I, I honestly don't know where anything is now. <laughs> <laughs> Your apartment's a disaster. What's it going is on a here? disaster. What my kind of gosh. Home do you keep? My goodness. So, we're in an apartment now. We sold our house because Felicia wanted a bigger she shed. And we finally found a place. And we're building it. And so many people are building homes in Florida right now that there's like a eight to 12 month delay. So we are in that holding pattern. So we had to redesign it. We had a few issues, a few modifications. So that process is done. So we need to sign off on those changes uh, this week or next week. And they're going to start building the house. Now, the thing about the new house is going to have a huge kitchen for our cooking shows. And, uh, it's going to have a ginormous she shed for Felicia in the second level. So she's going to be able to put all her machines and organize okay. them and have all kinds of really neat shelves and things you've never been able to do before. We didn't have the space in our last home to do that. We were running out of a couple of bedrooms and it kind of mm -hmm. grew bigger than the both of us. And now she has like 10,000 machines and uh, she's sewing. She's doing dye sub now. Apparently you're a die I'm not, subber. I'm not mastering it. <laughs> well, you know, well you're going to start somewhere learning, right? And we've we're never learning. done this before. We've so never you're done this before. Actually joining us the first time we've ever done this. All right. I don't have any more room here, so bear with me. Now Cricut has the die sub ink. ink. The, paper, the transfer Infusible sheets. ink, mm -hmm. right. So, so this put, is going outside. I put a outside. piece of parchment paper between the layers. So it doesn't bleed through? So okay. it doesn't bleed through. Cool. And we're just going to, this is just a, a regular old t-shirt. Um, it's forty percent polyester. Forty percent polyester. So okay. I'm just going to put and this they on. They say that polyester blends and work better. You know what? Let's try this. What is that? This is the Teflon sheets that will protect the shirt. You come back a little bit. Whoa! I'm cutting I'm... your head off here. Hey, if you just started following us, print and cut is quite nice. It is pretty cool. Yeah, I can make stickers with that too. If you just started following us, send us a screenshot to Fresh and Felicia at Gmail. We will add you to our monthly drawing list. We're going to give away 10 Amazon gift cards on the 31st on Taco Tuesday. Add extra pressure to it like we do with the Cricut. What degree? Do you have it at 400? 400. Degrees? Okay. So it recommends about 400 degrees. We'll do it for a minute. What is that paper? That it, Feel it. It's Teflon paper. That's weird. Yeah, Can you right? reuse it? Yeah, it's reusable. That's why I got it. Whoa, Teflon sheet cool. for heat press. So this replaces your parchment paper. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I almost forgot I had it. Is that in a carousel? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Who so knows? that was 30 seconds. We'll do it one more. Okay. I'm going to add a little more pressure. We do add more pressure when we do the uh, Cricut infusible ink sheets. Okay. So. Um, it says on the back of the sub paper, so you have to use special paper. You can't use regular old paper. You know what's interesting is when you use the Cricut markers, you could use regular laser paper. That's interesting, right? Yeah, 400 interesting. degrees, and it's saying for textile applications, which is any cloth, it will be 25 to 40 seconds medium pressure. It says that right on the back okay. of the paper here. So this oh, is look, our... it's smoking, Ooh, dude. Holy cow. 
Whoa. Be careful. They're hot. Yeah, I'm sure it's hot. <laughs> I think I'll just set this over here on the it's stove. Smoking. Ooh, I'm scared. You just got another follow from I Love Gadgets. Hey, thank you, I Love Gadgets. Jump in. Send us that email to freshandfelicia at gmail.com. We'll enter your monthly giveaway. We're still doing our $25 gift card drawing today. <gasps> Whoa, it's your first one. And those colors are, are they coming in now? Or do you think that's all we're going to get? It feels like it's developing. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, actually, kind of, it feels like it looks like it's brightening up. It does. It's weird. I'm not going to lie thing. on that camera. It looks cool because it came out kind of dull as soon as you took it off. Right. But it, don't you feel like it brightened up? I think it did brighten up a little. That's really odd because with the cricket, and this is not once a, you do it, that's it. This is just a... Um, did it bleed through the back? No. Not really. No. This is just um, a regular t-shirt. If it had been 100% polyester, I bet it would have come through better. Really? If I had used the other uh, sublimation shirt that we have, it might, might have come through better. And the question is, how will this wash? This is 40% uh, polyester, you said? Yes, this is only 40% polyester. Let me see that real quick. Maybe it needed some more time, but it looked like it was on fire. It did look like <laughs> So the well, blue is not as vibrant as I had hoped. Is that a light blue on your screen? But again, it's not the right kind of shirt. True, that's true. And I didn't use that spray I have. We oh, we need to try, we didn't that, try spray. that spray. All right, so we're going to try the mug next. Well, I'm going to go to the mug press. I'm going to look at that real quick. Uh oh. She's going into the mug you know press, what? ladies Can and I gentlemen. Just I'm going to print the same thing and we'll just put it on the mug. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just use that some work? of your heat tape and yep. pop it in there yep. and let's see what happens. So let me send this to you. Got a sheet in the printer? Yeah. Well, you have this right here. You could use this. Or do you want to change the blue? So we got red, we have yellow, we have, let's try some other colors. Try like a teal or something. Can you fit that whole thing on a, a mug? Yeah, that's why, oh, that's okay. actually why Can I Can you get it without it. the black box around it? Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it just like oh, I cut okay. this one. Okay. Um, and then it'll, see it'll fit just right. Oh, okay, good. It just won't go all the way around, but that's. Let me try a blend color. When you say a blend color, what would you I don't like? Know, like a teal or something that's going to use the cyan and the yellow together. Maybe like an orange or okay, so a let's green. Go. How about a green? Okay, let's do fresh and Felicia and green. Okay. What? That's what? it. Let the rest of it's okay. Maybe a deeper, maybe the red, make it like a cyan. Can you go like a magenta red? A darker? Yeah, as dark as they can go, almost matching the color of the ink itself. I did have a lighter blue selected. Oh, okay, good. By the way, well, that's good. I did. I, I, I just realized that. Felicia's first dye sub shirt. Actually, not bad. It actually, uh, it did look like it perked up a little bit after. That's really weird. It like developed, which technically should not happen. It should be one and done. All right, so we're going to send this one to the. Uh, you got a paper in there, right? I do, yeah. Um, we have send our dye it there. sub paper. We've done our conversion using dye sub ink this stuff here this printer's jack stuff and the syringes which we loaded the ink with and again we did not plug it in when we did this and we are we voided the warranty so if you decide to do this it does not did it go oh sorry. No, i don't see anything going on there. we didn't use this ink so if you go outside of the epson ink it does void the warranty so if anything happens to this printer within the normal warranty period they're going to know you used non inkjet ink in here and they're not going to do any repairs for you. So just be aware of that. We went in the snowing for yeah. what we oh, were yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. We, were to, we were willing to take that risk to give this a shot. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So, so I used darker this. colors. Did it do anything Green's better? Green's got some weird lines going on. So we may need to run like a, an alignment or a cleaning cycle or something. I'm not sure what to do. But the blue looks really good. And the, the magenta looks okay. like red. Hang on. You've got an orange on here too. All right. So I've got the heat press. To print these, remember nope. to print these things backwards. You have right, to hit you have the to mirror, mirror thing. Yeah. All right, so, so if you're using Photoshop, you have to flip your letters backwards. I'm turning this guy on. Okay. And it's going to take a couple of minutes here for it to heat up. So we're going to try this on a Cricut dye sub mug. So this mug is made for dye sublimation. So we'll see if the colors pop and they're as vibrant because uh, we've done some 
Cricut infusible ink mugs, and they come out very, very clean, very vibrant. Margaret asked, a, you a, Margaret asked a question. Margaret, what's up? Margaret asks, is sublimation printer have to be used every day? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Teal and pink, Lisa. That's actually a really good combination. Pink would be a great color to figure out. Uh, does it have to be used every day or does the ink start to dry up? I do not know. That is know. a really good a question. Really good I'm not question. Sure. We're going to find uh, you out. Know, okay, what, how, would it be any different than a, um, an ink, inkjet, I guess? Well, inkjets don't dry don't up. Dry I up. think once the ink is in that uh, canister or whatever, the reservoir, I think it, it should be sealed. Otherwise, you're right. Regular inkjet would dry up too. So I'm going to hope no, Margaret. <laughs> we'll find out and we will let you know for sure. Can you start this? I can. Please. So these mugs were used using Cricut's infusible ink and the colors. You can see how vibrant they are. Now, again, the mugs, these mugs were specifically made for uh, dye sublimation using Cricut's own patent and te technology. But now we're using something else. We're using somebody else's inks, but we are using a, uh, a mug that was specifically made for this heat transfer process. Yeah. And... Thank you so much. Oh, this is God. heat tape, heat transfer or heat safe tape. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a couple of pieces of that. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you know, we're just going to wing it here. Do you have a shirt? I have another shirt. Yes. Like a, a, yeah, yeah, a I dye have. sub shirt. You yep. also have some kind of spray you purchased I at do. some point. Have you ever tried that? No, maybe we try that next time. Why don't we try that during the week here? in our lab and see if it works. And then we'll report back next Saturday. So all I'm doing is taking- Great question though, Margaret. All I'm doing is taking the print, mm -hmm. putting it on backwards and using heat tape to hold it in place. Okay. That's all I'm doing. You can't just use regular old house tape, duct tape. That's probably it not the best idea. potentially melt, right? Yeah. And this is specifically made for this- Correct. For whatever temperature this, uh, I have no idea if I have Dude, this, this lined up. This is not working. What's it doing? Oh, it's like orange. What does that mean? It's not ready yet. It's got to go well, green. It's got dots. The There's dot, no the green dot, at all. The dots. Oh, dots are for a uh, Oh, my heavens to Betsy. Play dead. <laughs> She's good. Poor she? Emma. Emma dog. We have such a mess going here right now. Oh, oh my, my heavens. God. Look at her. All right. All right. So we're almost there. This is a mug. This is a cricket mug made for this so we'll see what happens made for dye sublimation transfer using crickets infusible inks now we're trying to use legit dye sublimation ink made by this company called printers jack printers jack and we bought this on amazon and uh how are the reviews on this did you read the reviews and people have good success with this stuff mm-hmm all right, let's see what happens here. So the uh, heat press, which we use for the mug, is perfectly curved to fit a, what two sizes? You have a 15 ounce and a 13 ounce mug? Yeah, Cricut sells the 11 12, ounce 11, and 15 ounce. 11 and 15, this is a 15? So yeah, something like that, yeah. <gasps> it's green. Are you ready? You were right. Are you ready? always right, Felicia. I wonder if I should put parchment paper around this. Why? Because it's a different material than, I just don't know. But it says, what does it say here? I'm going to say no. You know what might have happened when you put that stuff the in there? The Teflon may right. not have given it enough heat to transfer. So gonna, Let's go without I'm it. I'm just going to go without it, and I'm going to put the mug in there. And, I'm and I'll gonna, grab the fire extinguisher. Close the lid. <laughs> the dots are going to light up one oh by one, God. all five. When all five are done, the, the mug is done, oh and we'll take it out. Um, you know what? That Teflon may have prevented enough heat from going you think? through. That's what people use on they um those what are they called the swing arm mm -hmm. the big the big heat presses oh yeah 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 they have the swing arm they actually clip that teflon stuff onto the top mm. so it's always there and you don't have to put it down every time so i don't know and when you use infusible ink you don't have to put anything on the outside of it right no this paper does say 400 degrees okay well we shall see Please use mirror printing, print on the black side, professional heat press machines. And it does say 400 degrees. And, and that was it set at 400 degrees. 400 degrees. It's as hot as it goes. Yeah. 
Keep your used paper in the original package. Don't store heavy wet. Don't store this in heavy wet, Felicia. <laughs> if you haven't used these paper before, please practice on some scrap fabric before committing to your best T-shirt. Okay, Lisa, you are right. I wouldn't use Dollar Tree mugs. They they won't they won't work as well. But if you have your spray, I don't know if you can do spray on the glass. And what he's talking about spray is I I found this. Um, it's a sublimation coating. Hold on. Let me focus on that. What is it? Sublimation Sub coating? Sublimation and what can you coating. use this on? Well, t-shirts, pillows, canvas, cotton fabric, polyester fabric, and carton. I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> I'm not really sure. What... It's pretty small, but I'm pretty sure it says carton. Proofreading is important. All right. So Okay. Anyway, you just kind of take this and spray it. And you've lightly. never tried it? We've tried it one time. What'd you use it on? Remember that test t-shirt a long time ago? Did it I work? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It's been so long since we did this. We mm -hmm. should give this a whirl too. We on should try shirts. it. And a shirt and a mug. I don't, it doesn't say going glass. Well, we can get some Dollar Tree ceramic mugs yeah. and then spray some of that stuff on there and see what happens. I wonder how much you need to coat it. I mean, yeah, does it I need know. to be drippy wet? No, this says no, don't soak it. Just enough to. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, we're on second dot on our machine here. We've got to get to all five lit up. All right. Nope, I don't smell any smoke yet. Do you know where the again? fire extinguisher? Um, sure. Okay, good. Where are the little um? What the little they, men. The little men who are going to come clean this mess up. What, the oompa know. loompa people. I don't know. <laughs> Manuel Jorge. <laughs> I think he's coming by later. So the spray says, print your design to your sub paper, heat your heat press to 380 for 35 seconds mm. and set your pressure to high. It's that hard pressure mm. fresh. And I probably wasn't giving it enough. You should do that next time. Mm. Um, apply a decent amount of the spray to the print area of your t-shirt. Don't apply too much. It might damage the fabric. Mm. Press heat for five to 10 seconds to dry the coating and let it dry naturally or use a hair dryer and then pressure design for 35 seconds. What does that mean? I don't even know. It was three blankets. Was that this? I don't know. Or was that? Oh, no, that was the, um, oh, you're that was okay. the heat okay. press going off. Here, put that back. That was the before heat press. We, before we go crazy here. It was the oh, heat press. Oh, you sure? Are, there wasn't a smoke detector? We are way past crazy. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you did this. Hey, thanks for following us people and hanging out with us today. So Lisa, we we're, experiment. Lisa, we're going to, we're going to experiment with that, um, that spray on different materials to see how it works. And we'll come back on again and show you guys, um, how to do it with the spray. And if it, if it truly does work. So Maybe we'll next Saturday's artsy fartsy. Okay. We could yeah. do that. We're going to do that. We try some dye sub fun, fun with dye sub. All right. So we've got four dots. It's almost the moment of Ruth. If you don't make me clean all this up and you order takeout, hmm. we could do another one tomorrow. <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I think these people have had enough of us. I think they have. Yeah. Bless their heart for hanging out with us for so long. Okay, again, we've converted this Epson inkjet printer to a die sub printer. Yep. We got some die sub paper. Okay, we're And we did a print using the die sub ink. And we are trying to apply this to a legit die sub Cricut mug. See what happens. Now you can do, uh, Cricut has markers. We Didn't should we do that for you Margaret? You know what we should have done? What's that? Well, you know what we should have done? Darn it. We should have put part of this uh -huh. mug, half of it with something, mm -hmm. with the sub material, <gasps> and then the other half with the transfer. The transfer ink from Cricut. Just oh to do a my god! We'll do a comparison. Like next a one time. to one. Uh huh. Dude, that is so scary, frightening right now. Yeah. I don't even know what idea. you're talking about. All right, so it's almost done. This is the moment of truth. We're gonna see if this ink pops on a mug. All right, we're almost there. You know, I, don't, no, I didn't notice. There's no smell. You know what? They, I noticed like that. Like the infusible ink. Yeah. The infusible ink kind of lets off a gas. It does. It's potent. We have to open the door. You do. You really but have to. But this some is ventilation. not as potent. No. I was wondering if it's going to smell. I'm well, glad there's no that fire the, and sparks there's, coming yet. <laughs> there's no smoke coming out of this thing. I think we're okay oh. so far. Hmm. These poor people are probably going. Yeah. That's 
that's what we hear most of the time. Here. Right, so is it, oh, there it goes. Oh, so we're going to pop this open. Yeah. The heat press, the body is not hot. Careful. The me. handle is not hot. Are you sure? The mint green, that's, that's hot. hot. So be Don't very touch careful. It. Don't touch it. Pulling it out. Oh, my God. Oh, it is smoking. Oh, my God. All right. Don't oh, touch it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's Don't really, 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 oh really hot. God. So we're going to let that sit for a second. And now, it's good. It's interesting that the paper's not burnt. The paper's There's not burnt. No, and sometimes me... when you bring the infusible ink paper out, it's got brown spots on it. You notice that? It does, yes. Yeah. Let me um, think <laughs> where I might have my tweezers where I can pull that off. Huh? Oh, it's okay. We can let it cool off for a second. This is it. This is the moment right now. Interesting snow smell. I like that. I do too. Like, actually, there's no funky smell like there is with the cricket infusible ink. I mean, it, it's it. You probably smelled it before. It's considerably smelly, but it does a great job. I mean, it's beautiful. The the inks are very very vibrant and they transfer incredibly well. I wonder if Doris got hers in but the mail. There is definitely a funk, for sure. Careful. Oh, that green's popping, Felicia. Oh, my God. That looks really, really good. Oh, my God. Yes. That, yes. That, Can that, you now, see be that? very, very careful. I use tweezers to get that off, but um, the mug is still radiating a lot of heat. But that turned out amazing. That actually okay, I, colors are. That green is right. phenomenal. There's this a takes, little bit of a line in the green that we saw on the yep, paper. Yeah, we did. We'll run some... But Some those the... colors are legit. Look at the yellow, the red. So I tried to get everybody orange. Yeah. Looks really good. It does. Yellow. And the green, blue, the cyan blue. on the bottom is phenomenal. That looks, hey, that is a successful test, Felicia. So, um, turn this off. Um, wow. Yeah, this is a game changer. Yeah, yeah. You know the designs you can do with this thing now? Well, now you're basically unlimited. You can unlimited. print any colors. Exactly. Now you can print a, your face. No, on that mug. we cannot. We could put your face <laughs> no. on that mug. I'm Felicia, gonna, we I can think, print and put your face on I that think, mug. I think we did enough your for Your face, <laughs> that face, that cover girl face. Hey, what do you think? You got some Tom Jones for us today? No, that would be extremely unusual. But, <laughs> all right, so that is, is a successful test. That's yeah. amazing. We may sing tonight, yeah. We should I do a karaoke a, I night. I think that was a good test. If we had had the right T-shirt, Feeling confident the colors would have come out better. Oh, you know, good boy. Right? Woo! Woo! <laughs> My name is Fresh for Felicia. We're taking off as tequila third. Bye, we'll Felicia. Next time. Are we coming back on tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to try to do my car show again tomorrow. Okay. Because that failed miserably today. But thanks to all for watching it. All right, we'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Dun, 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 dun.